All right, we're working on uh, position A here. 7 eighths hole, 5 eighths deep. So I've got my indicator here, my uh, digital caliper set to 5 eighths. I actually kind of took a rough measurement of this, uh, the cutting blade of the bit. And I've got to go probably about an eighth inch deeper than that. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball it to start. And then we'll take it from there. that out. Well the best laid plans. I cannot get this in there to check the depth so I just went and cut a little piece of scrap. Uh, it's just slightly small, uh, yeah, smaller than uh, 5 eighths. But I can drop this in there and see where I'm at. And I'm at about probably a eighth of an inch short right now. Let me just check it or do it some more and we'll check it again. All right, that should do that. Now, switch bits here. And they say about a half inch deep with this uh, 964. Oh, am I going to be able to get that out of there? There we go. half inch minimum so I'll probably end up going a little deeper there's I'm just looking at my scale here on my drill press so I'll take it down to about three quarters of an inch that's plenty now, three eighths deep in the second location here. of an inch deep. I stopped a little short, so I'm going to check it. Now this lock nut, I'm just going through my uh, stuff to see if I had something that was close. And this is a 5 sixteenths lock nut, I believe. It's within two thousandths of three eighths. And uh, when I put this in there, I'm just a hair above the surface, or I was anyway. Let's see where I'm at now. Still a hair above. So we'll make another little cut here. And that should do it, I would think. Very close.
So I'm going to save these two pieces when I do uh, my next one. They'll come in handy. There we go. Alright, unclamp it and move on.